<laughs> Anthony, you brought in the parents uh, to child. Uh, parents talk to uh, child about sex thing. Yeah, that's one of the uh, many educational films I was going through. You know how you're you're cruising around on the internet and you just kind of you don't know how you end up at some place, but you're there. It's kind of one of those situations. I'm I'm going around and I ended up on this uh, film archive site. They had everything, you know. You want to see presidential uh, speeches from the past and stuff from NASA and uh, all just American history, world history, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, w one of these archives was um, educational and industrial films. There's uh, just a slew of them. So I'm checking them all out, and they had ones on um, perversion. And uh, there were whole films on, on how girly magazines and uh, men's fitness magazines cater to the homosexual. <laughs> Don't let your child read these. You can turn into a homosexual. <laughs> Very angry at the homosexual. And um, one of them was called Boys Beware. We got that. We got to pull clips from that one. It's a uh, it's a whole thing on on how boys have to beware of homosexuals that drive around in cars trying to pick them up at the basketball court in the high school. <laughs> and they have these scenarios that play out, and it's so funny. Guy comes over and he offers a boy a ride home, and the boy takes it and he gives him a gentle pat on the shoulder. Uh, uh, leads the boy to believe everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> and, and, and then, like uh, next weekend, he was back at the school driving Billy home. He decided to ask him if he wanted to go fishing. They went fishing the next weekend. This is where he showed Billy some pornographic photography, and he shows him pictures. And before you know it, uh, they were walking up into a hotel room no. together. And he put his arm around what Billy. What was the excuse goes, that the homosexual used? If things, happen, if things like this happen, be sure to tell your parents before it's too late. <laughs> and you're led to believe that the kid takes it right up the keister in the hotel by the, the homo. But how did he get him up into the hotel room? He just talked him into it. And he talked him into it. And then the next scene is... Uh, Billy and his parents, with Billy with his head down, walking out of the police station. <laughs> Not being able to sit down. Billy finally told his parents, yeah, and you just know he was ravaged. What kind of good pedophile takes a kid out four times before he bangs him? Oh, I know. He was, like, dating this kid. <laughs> Whatever happened to a shallow grave after the first date? <laughs> oh, God. That was another one, uh, uh, which I, th I guess ended pretty quickly. A kid on a basketball court, and yeah. his friends left, and the kid wanted to play. You know, Johnny wanted to play a little longer. And this guy comes out and offers to play a game with him. And it's just this big, oafish old guy <laughs> with the, the horseshoe bald head and the glasses, and he's playing uh, basketball with the kid, and uh, he offers him a ride home. And he goes, little did he know he traded a little more time at the basketball court for his life. His life? His life. That was wow. it. This guy was thorough. No dating and fishing for him. Yeah, this guy wasn't about waiting a month to see what the little boy had. It's hullala, hullala, shovel over the head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, the, uh, those clips are coming. And there was no distinction in this between homosexuality and predator pedophile murder. <laughs> it was just, it was all, they were all grouped together. Yeah. The homosexual will prey on children. So we got parents... Uh, this is a little different. This is uh, parents being educated by these doctors um, on, on sex, how to tell their kids about, about sex, and a lot of it is played out in scenario and, All right, and the first uh, conversation. Is, mommy talks about vagina. Yes, she does. Mommy, I want to ask you something. What is it, dear? I know that the baby goes inside you. That's where Johnny was. But he seems so big. What I wonder is, how does he get out of there? Oh. Your belly button? It's too small. Mary, the baby doesn't come out of your navel. Uh -oh. Let me tell you how it is. Oh, boy. There's a special opening yes. just in front of the place where you have your BM. <laughs> very, what? very tiny. A little girl. It's a special... Grow, oh, you it can't... Grows... Oh, sorry. It's a special opening uh, right in front of the... The hole that you have your BM. Your big moody from my bodyguard? <laughs> <laughs> How funny is that? Oh, and BM. you'll notice later in life that because you have that, it's the only reason men talk to you. <laughs> it is a special hole, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Because it's a special hole. Just in front of the place where you have your BM. It's very, very tiny in a little girl, but as you grow, it grows too. Right along with the rest of you. A slut. Until when you're grown up, it gets to be just about this size. 
Now, when the baby's ready to be born, it stretches up to be about this size. Holding her hands three feet Just apart. big enough for the baby to slip through, head first. Then, after the baby's born, it goes back to its regular size. No, it doesn't. You remember <laughs> yeah. how big my tummy stretched when the baby was growing in there? Only if you have and a good doctor. see, I'm flat again. <laughs> I'm back to my regular size. Do you understand? Why does Daddy if beat you? So, but if I forget it, you can always tell me again. Maybe when Tabby has her kittens, you can see how they come. Ugh. I like that, but there's something else. How did the baby get started in this? Oh, oh boy. No. Oh, oh, no. Boy. Oh, uh, Daddy comes home drunk from the office, <laughs> <laughs> smelling of whiskey, and flips Mommy over. <laughs> Remember that special hole I was talking about? <laughs> Daddy doesn't treat it that special. <laughs> he makes the BM a bloody mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. What did it The special opening that little girls have the one I told you about has a name, the vagina. Uh -huh. Now you know that little boys like our Johnny have a penis. You see his penis when we change his diapers. Yes. When a boy grows up and is ready to be a father, he is able to put his penis into the vagina. Right. That special opening that mothers have. And when he does this, he can plant the seed that starts a baby to grow. Isn't this uh, little girl a little too young to yeah yeah to it's, know this much? It's very wrong. It is very wrong when you watch it. The kid's much too young. Just go shut up. Go outside and play. And the mother's leaving out the whole the whole foreplay thing. The All whole always stuff. always hold the bag, honey. You know, <laughs> this mother stinks. <laughs> <laughs> awful lay. Uh, put it in. You just know she lays there. Now put it in my special hole, dear. <laughs> Plant your seed. Oh, God, I'm going back to my secretary. You stink. <laughs> oh. All right, the next clip is about masturbation. Yes. Hmm. Let me at this point make a clear-cut scientific statement. Masturbation is not harmful. The young child often plays with his genitals, and after puberty, masturbation is a common release mechanism for the sex drive. Growing boys will either masturbate to get rid of this energy or have a nocturnal emission, the so-called wet dream. Since sexual fantasies or dreams often accompany these experiences, the teenager will sometimes feel guilty or ashamed. What he needs right then is reassurance from his parents that they know these things happen and that the experience itself is not harmful to health or to normal growing up, not important at all. It should be viewed as just a passing phase. <laughs> Last a lifetime. To add to guilt by terrifying the teenager with fables and myths, or by giving the impression Fables. that the genital areas are evil or taboo. taboo. These misstatements and misconceptions are the real dangers. Writing a song parody? <laughs> taboo. Is he doing a radio show with Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tell him it's okay to put it wherever he wants. <laughs> That's creepy, man. I, yeah. Thank God he wasn't teaching me that crap. No. Who's listening to that guy about exactly. masturbation? Ricky's back with uh, Jimmy's Bagel. Oh. All right. Let's bring Ricky back in here, our intern, our new intern. I'll handle a little out of this one here. How'd you do, Rick? Ricky, how'd you do? Well, you got to get on mic. You went back to the uh, that other deli? Yes. Oh, so good. I got to change and everything. Not okay. toasted bagel. Not yeah. warm. Yeah, good. Give uh, Jimmy his 20 cents back, please. All right. Put Any that in your pocket, Jimmy. Cool. Mm. All right. Mm. And uh, what's the matter? Nothing. It's good. What, you have a hot bagel? What's wrong, Eric? Like, there's no cream cheese. My bagel is, like, burnt. Oh, boy. Is, how do you know it's burnt? You didn't even open it's, up the package. You know how hot it is. Nothing on it. No cream cheese. Did you oh. want cream cheese on your bagel? Yeah. All right. I might have been sorry. I'm not going to share his cream cheese. No. Yeah. Don't worry. It's it's just Eric. He's a little man on the totem pole. You don't have to go back out. These guys understand. If like one of these guys would have gone out, they know exactly what everyone wants at this point. I think the training process is a little rough here, but you know, All right. something everyone's gone through. Jimmy, I just want coffee. I'm fine, man. Yeah. Bring the coffee in. 
And, and you got the uh, you got the, the bagels good. Yeah, I'm he didn't right get now, the coffee but... when he was getting the bagel. No, I think he did. Yeah, Jimmy he did. said Jimmy said uh, you know coffee. Uh, coffee for everybody. Where is it? Huh? Outside. I by the uh, chess chess board. I don't remember getting him mentioning coffee. I don't know. We can play the tape back. Didn't you say yeah. coffee too? And I, and you asked if um, I wanted one. Can we play back that part of the show or no? It, it would be too tough. All right, Dirk's gonna find it. Yeah, we asked for yeah. coffee. I don't. I don't want any. Yeah, I don't uh, drink coffee. Jimmy, can you do without coffee? Hopefully. Uh, no. I'm. I've been up since yesterday. I've been up since last night at five o'clock. I slept all day yesterday. Mm. And I woke up at 5, and I'm trying to stay up today so I can get my schedule back by going to bed tonight, which I have to do. Well, the coffee's, in, what, that's just across the street, right? Starbucks, yeah. Oh, uh, Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, okay. Where is it? Huh? Starbucks is right next door. Well, he forgot, Jimmy. It's all right. He's new. Um, I want, um, you might, you, let me jot this down. Yeah, I have to get that down. Yeah, here. Yeah, you better write it down. Just give me a, a tall coffee. I'll, I'll give you a little extra here. Keep the 30 cents for yourself, all right? Tall coffee with uh, milk, not cream, please. All right. It's no big deal. It's just across the street. Um, I want a medium no ice. Huh? No sugars? No, I got the the Splenda over here. That'll be nice. Okay. Right. <laughs> medium ice latte with uh, skim milk, please, buddy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is this is for just the, like the whatever's left over from his. Just use it to finish up that one. Mm -hmm. Well, you want the change back, though, I think. No, no, I'm saying it's going to be more than 4. It's like 4.30 or 4.30. Oh, all right. Yeah, make sure you don't use any of your money. That's not cool. Yeah, just oh. use the extra 30 minutes. All right. Medium ice slice. Anthony? Fat free. Coffee? Um, no, no. All right. So, uh, Ricky, sorry. Sorry. Well, I know we said it, though, on the air. Sorry for All right, there goes Ricky, the new intern. He's uh, heading out for, uh, I think, the fifth time now uh, to get food and coffee and bagels and stuff like that. Um... He's gone. <laughs> you are awful, Jim. What? Jim, r right when, like, I noticed he was almost smiling, like, oh, boy, are they sending me out again? Is this a gag? Jimmy puts on this face that completely made him wipe his smile off his face. You put on this face like, you know, uh, no, I've been up all night. <laughs> like, he's getting pissed off, and the kid just, like, the smile went right away from his face. And, okay, pulls out his little pad. I'll, I'll write it down. <laughs> Got to get it right. Oh, that's funny. All right, well, there you go. So uh, it's it's intern runaround today on the program. We do this from time to time. Yeah. The, all, the, all the other guys are relieved that it wasn't them. They're all like, whew. All right, Anthony, so back to the... Uh... Funky Treasure says, Sometimes Daddy puts it where Mommy has her BM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, these uh, these films are, are what really is BM funny. by the way? A bowel movement. Oh, okay. I don't know. That's an older yeah. older days term for going to the bathroom or taking a dump. BM. A BM <laughs> or making poo poo or poopies as uh, they tell the kids. Toolbag Johnson from New Orleans writes: Doesn't BM stand for Ben movement? <laughs> Old gravy leg. Dear, it's uh, the special hole right in front of the place that makes you have gravy leg. <laughs> Uh, you're going to need club soda when Ricky comes back because we're running out yeah, of things to do. Yeah, getting a little short. All right, good. All right, uh, so the next clip is uh, the doctor talking about wet dreams, I guess. Is this... Uh, we really want yeah. the homosexual audio. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. That's on this, the way? this is great stuff, though. All right. I, I well, love this every stuff. Every so often I get a strong sex urge, and the only way I can take care of it is to masturbate. <laughs> and when I do, I feel awful. It's just like I've committed a crime or something. <laughs> and it worries me, and I say... Well, I won't do it anymore. And when I do, it goes away for a while, and I come back and do it again. <laughs> and when I do control myself for a while, I end up with a wet dream. <laughs> well, Jimmy Norton, what you have to do is <laughs> calm down. You're a sex addict. <laughs> Oh, gee, <laughs> like I committed a crime, Beef. I know, it sounds like leave it to Beaver. You know, Wally, I was playing with myself last night, and I felt like a creep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Beef. Mom has to wash my sheets every hour on the hour. I'm jerking it all the time. <laughs> well, me and Lumpy went out behind in the, the house in the woods, and he was all lumpy in his pants. And... I won't even tell you what happened to Whitey. <laughs> it was all Whitey in my face. <laughs> it 
<laughs> it sounds like because uh, it is from the same time. It's yeah. another fifty, so they get these whiny little kid. Oh, and I didn't know what to do. Eh, just grab it, crank it, go out, have fun. Next thing you know, I'm feeding a hooker a bran muffin, laying underneath her, yelling, "Bombs away!" <laughs> <laughs> I felt like a creep or something. <laughs> It's okay to take logs on your chest. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. All right. Oh, I can do this. Hold on. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Cool. Beaver! Beaver! Gee, I hope Dad doesn't come up here and catch me spanking the monkey, Wally. Oh, it's okay. Dad does it all the time. Mom doesn't like getting it in her special hole in front of the place she has her BM. So, is... Is this how you do it, Wally? Sure, Beef, just grab on and crank away. Everything will be fine. But what if I make a mess? That's what Mom's for, Beef, to clean up our mess. Sure, Beef, the men in the house make messes everywhere, whether it's in that special hole or on the sheets like you boys. Mom will clean it up, because that's her job. It's the 50s. She's there to clean up our sexual fluids and to take my punches in the face when I'm pissed off from a day at the office. Now crank away, kids, and don't worry about the laundry. That's Mom's job. She also cooks a mean pot roast. <laughs> ah, isn't it nice to have someone to clean up your fluids and make a nice roast at the end of it all? It's the 50s, and it's wonderful. <laughs> the 50s just seemed so great. Everyone was stupid. If you missed the 50s, move to Toronto. They're still living it. Are they? Oh, my God. Hey, I want to talk about masturbation, eh? <laughs> <laughs> a boot. <laughs> uh, put a boot in your dog's liver. <laughs> What's this swimming naked clip? Oh, well, they're just discussing things, Opie. <laughs> The adolescent boy has other problems, too. I'm talking about his problems in growth and development, which can be as disturbing to him as his sex pressures. Mm. Boy, how do I always get the top locker? Two boys in the locker junior room. junior team you're on look pretty good today. You guys better watch out. You might make the finals. Yeah, but we'd be a lot better if I were bigger. I'm sure getting tired waiting to grow up. It's no fun being such a scrawny kid. It may sound funny to you, but, boy, when I change my pants, I'd like to crawl in that locker I feel so undeveloped. That's not so funny. Before we moved here, I used to go to a school where we had to go swimming in the bear. I was so embarrassed about the size of my penis that we used to dread the days we had to go swimming. <laughs> Even though it was my best sport, I was good at it, too, like you. Boy, what I wouldn't have given for a fig leaf. For Even a for big schlong. Well, how do you think I feel? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little dick. <laughs> that is so funny. What school is he going to yeah. where they swim naked? Dude, we did this. Uh, we we talked about stuff like this in the past, and a bunch of people came out of the woodwork saying that they were forced to swim naked in high school. Unbelievable that that was actually going on. They would swim naked. Could you imagine? <laughs> Gee, Dad, I, I feel a little embarrassed going swimming. I, I feel like a creep or something. I get in the pool and I got a little slump. That's okay, Beaver. I had a little, little schlong when I used to go swimming, but look how big and thick and fat it's gotten. <laughs> Whoa, Dad, put that away. That's what your mom says right before I put it where she has her BM. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just says, ouch, ouch. And she has to wash the sheets again. That's her job, you know. <laughs> you know, Dad, sometimes when you go to work, Eddie Haskell comes over and, and Mom makes the same sounds in her bedroom that, that she makes when you're in there. Well, really? How about that, Beaver? <laughs> Eddie Haskell's becoming quite a man. You know, someday, those girls at school are going to want you to put it in the special hall. And that's when you flip them over and put it in their balloon knot. <laughs> What's a balloon knot, Dad? Well, blow up a balloon, tie it in a knot, and look into where you just blew. What does that look like? I get it, Dad. <laughs> the place where the BM comes from. Sure. <laughs> sure it is. God, the 50s rocked. <laughs> Wish I was there. <laughs> Do anything you want. Here you go, dude. A Everything guy. in black and white. Hold on, hold on. I gotta... Let's go to uh, Mike. Hey, Mike, what's up? Hey, what's up? Uh, we used to swim naked in school. Told you. Naked in school. All right, so you're what? You're 60 years old? 30, 36. <laughs> I'm 36. Where, where were you swimming naked? 
Uh, we were in Chictawaga outside of Buffalo, New York. Oh, that makes sense now. And and what would they say? What was the well, first day you had to do this? What was that like? Um, it was like, uh, what the fuck? I, I got to get naked to swim with fucking 30 guys? And the teacher yeah, just said, take like, your clothes off? Yeah. He, they did not give us bathing suits, and we weren't allowed to wear bathing suits because they said that the soap clogged the filters or something like that. And, yeah. And uh, I know a lot of guys who all had to do it the same thing, and, I mean, it was, it was fucking weird. And uh, <laughs> once I got sure in high was. school and stuff, I was like, I ain't doing this anymore. I mean, what the, what the fuck, you play chicken with freaking a naked sack on your neck? You know, fuck that. Jesus. All right, well, there you go. I told you, Aunt. I, I didn't the know that was going it, on. In the this, logic of it is crazy, but... Uh, this day and age. Mike in Jersey. What's up, Mike? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, uh, you really pulled a boner this time, Beef. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, hey, some words take on different meanings. Greco Roman wrestling when I was in school. Don't be such a baby. Stop it. They did not. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. yeah you take never, care, guys. You but they, know, they did in the older days do that. Not like really older, but in school they would have the kids wrestle naked. Come on. Ugh. No, no, no way. No, I, I, I read that. Mac, yeah. what's up? In one of those homosexual Opie, Opie, magazines. Kill the bit, man. They're new sponsors. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Kill the fit. It's a new sponsor. <laughs> Probably. Ah, very funny. Yeah, very good. That's very funny. Sure. Hey, Ricky's back with the coffee. Cool. That was cool, fast. Thanks, oh, man. my God. Coffee. Cool. Thanks, man. Mm. Is it cold out there, bud? It's not bad, right? It's up to 11 degrees now. Let me see if... Uh, where'd you get the um, oh. seltzer? Oh, this is perfect. Uh, Thanks, Deli downstairs? Right downstairs? Mm -hmm. That's not that far, right? No. I should have told you if you were going for coffee. Could you grab a um, can of seltzer, please? Sure. Thanks, man. Hey, Ricky. What's up? You're doing such a good job. Here's uh, oh, 10, 21 cents. You tell oh. Ty Webb I'm gunning for him. There you go. Nice. Perfect coffee. Oh. I need Thanks. This. Here you go. Aunt? Needs, yeah, I just need, uh, need seltzer. Yeah. You want club soda or seltzer? Um, wow. Do you get club soda? I don't know if they have clubs. I... I prefer the club soda, to tell you the truth, as opposed to seltzer. Seltzer stinks. But, uh, yeah. See if you can find some some club soda. The seltzer is like, meh, 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 you know. Um, Ricky, thanks. No yeah, that audio is really, it's like, you know. From Don't the forget old... his club soda, right? Mm. Okay. It's like from the old days, it's just so uh, completely... <laughs> Just so completely uh, yeah. dated. It's just, yeah, you know, yeah, a few dated. seconds. Just uh, as they're walking. Wait, no, he's yeah, right. well, he's, it's uh, just really old stuff. Yeah, yeah. What is old? What? Just to say the we? audio, you can see what, in what old. Uh... Oh my god! Well, I'm making. No, Ricky's outside. He's a little confused because because he heard club soda and <laughs> seltzer. Yeah. No, club soda is the way to go. Yeah, club soda. Whatever one he brings, stinks. you got to say you wanted the other one. Of course, I do. Ah, uh, <laughs> still there? Yeah, I think so. Cause Eric is a dummy. They should just turn the audio down. Yeah, out there. The boys' club I, uh, always had nude swimming. Not sure if they do now. Uh. <laughs> Was it on out there though? No. Oh, it's all oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. So whatever he brings back is going to be the wrong thing. You it's going to be that, the right? wrong thing. Okay. All right, uh, what it? So we're back to this? Yeah. If you're just tuning in, we're playing uh, intern runaround today. I think he's up to five or I don't even know anymore. This is, I think, his sixth trip. You don't have to act. Out into he's the tundra. <laughs> Eric's all mad. I'm like, you don't have to act. He's gone. What's no, the matter? It was supposed to be a salted bagel with cream cheese. It's plain with nothing. Uh-oh. It's a cream cheese bagel with salt. All right, Anthony, the next clip is about uh, menstruation. Ah, menstruation. There's been a real change in our approach to education about menstruation. It's hard to believe what grandmother experienced, but let's hear her story. Here's grandma talking about it. Yeah. I'll never forget when I was 14 years old. I went to the little outhouse on our farm. Outhouse. My new dress was stained, and there was blood on my underclothes. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, really, Granny? Sounds hot. <laughs> Did Grandpa put it where you be him? <laughs> Maybe it was red from slaughtering an American Indian, you rotten old bag. <laughs> 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 we 
had just returned from a lynching <laughs> when I noticed I was bleeding. <laughs> the front of my underpants looked like I was attacked with a bingo splatter. <laughs> <laughs> Old copper panties. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh. All right, wow. Blood on my underclothes. I ran inside and showed my mother. And all she said was, you're menstruating, and turned and walked away. I had to find out how to take care of myself from my cousin. Oh. Were any of your girlfriends told in advance by their mothers? No, I'm afraid not. They were just as scared as I was. Yeah. Laura Ingalls, of all of them. Older sisters who told them. One thing I was sure of, I would never let this happen to my daughter. Why do you suppose your mother didn't tell you in advance? Ignorance. Just plain stupid ignorance. Oh, calm down, Granny. Jeez, she's got some mother <laughs> issues. No kidding. I remember. And then this young Union soldier came <laughs> by my house and he had fired a shot. It went through his testicles and hit me in the ovary and I was pregnant. <laughs> You can read about me on urbanlegends.com. <laughs> What's dot .com? I have no clue. It's the 50s. <laughs> oh, my big bloomers just stained. Oh, that just sounds awful. Disgusting. That's funny, though. I was dirty. <laughs> well, here we go. A little discussion about sanitary napkins. Ah, here you go. Mommy, what's this? Well... I guess, honey, you're old enough now to understand these things. She's Those one. Those are sanitary pads for me, honey. Yeah, really? Uh, <laughs> Mommy, what's this? Well, here you go. He takes his big schlong. <laughs> oh. yeah, hold on. I'm gonna go. ah, let's start over. Hold on. Okay. Come on. Mommy, what's this? Well, I guess, honey, you're old enough now to understand these things. Those are sanitary pads for me, honey. You know that mothers have a special place inside them where the babies grow before they come out. Oh. Well, each month in a well. grown-up woman, a sort of soft, nasty place builds up. Soft, nasty place or nasty place? <laughs> nasty? A or soft, ne nasty place. That's how she's describing her womb. Oh. It's the 50s, though. She should be describing the outside of it as nasty. <laughs> <laughs> nasty and nasty. Looks like a vulture's nest out there. <laughs> oh, you just know it's big and awful. No hygiene going on down there. No. In a grown-up woman, a sort of soft, nasty place builds up. Hmm. And some of the nest is blood. And if oh. a woman is going to have a baby, she needs this nest for the baby to grow in. Unless now, Daddy let me kicks tell you her what in it. Pads are <laughs> if no baby has started there, then the blood in the nest isn't needed. And it just dribbles out of the vagina for a few days. <laughs> <And then> the <laughs> dribbles. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes mommy sneezes and stains the linoleum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awful. Do they explain crime scene sex? Dribbles. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and then a fresh new nest place starts building up. That's what the pads are for, to catch the blood. Does it hurt? It shouldn't. It's something that happens to every girl when she grows up. Now have a lucky. <laughs> You're old enough. Light up a lucky. Pop away, dear. What are you now, two? <laughs> Here you go. It's lucky children's cigarettes. Smoke for your health. Mm. <laughs> now included with your dolly, a pack of Lucky Strike. <laughs> oh, soft, nasty, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of great instant feedback coming in, by the way. Big Dog from Texas. Ben didn't want to swim naked because his dong would drag along the bottom. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I, I can't do impressions, but Funky Treasure from CringeHumor.net. Did you read this one? I'm not sure. He he, he he writes this a lot every morning. Wally, I saw Mom make a BM on Dad's chest last night. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Wally. <laughs> uh, uh. And then, and then J-Mac from... I don't want you to get scared by what you saw last <laughs> night, Wally. Dad, it was kind of creepy. <laughs> Gee, Dad, I, I saw Mom... Squatting over you, and, and 
She was having a BM on your chest. <laughs> oh, Wally. Although on the outside this might look odd, it's quite pleasurable when Mom drops logs on my chest. Oh, sure, we've done that ever since college. <laughs> it might stink a little, and, well, I don't tell the boys down at the office about it, but it's perfectly normal. Maybe when you're out on a date, you could have a girl drop logs on your chest or, or face if you're a real trooper. <laughs> You know, it started years ago when I used to play Monster Rain with some of the boys in my neighborhood. Monster Rain, Dad? Sure, Wally. That's when you yell, Monster Rain's coming, and run under the porch, and all of a sudden we fillet each other. Ain't the 50s great. Gee, I I'm going to go play that with Eddie Haskell, Dad. Sure, you go run off and play. Monster Rain. And grab a couple of luckies on your way out and puff away. I love lucky strike. And striking your mom. Huh? It's the fifties, you know. <laughs> so, uh, so did we play the sanitary napkins one? Sort of, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got. And, and then J Mac from Philly writes, "Why does Ann have to tell everyone he isn't taking part in the gag? Why does he have to separate himself from the group all the time?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended by it. All right, um, Ann talks about uh, her period. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get a this one period here. talk. Come on. And when did you first learn about menstrual periods? Oh, I really can't remember. I just always sort of seemed to know something about it, and I knew that I'd have them someday. Her I do voice remember, is awful. though. Knew that I'd have them. <laughs> like, I don't know where this accent is from, but it's horrible. It's it, nothing sexy about this. I knew I'd have them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I started to develop, my mother reminded me that I'd probably be starting soon. And that's when she went into the sort of information that you gave in the animation. Not as clearly as that, but I felt I knew what the score was. And then she did a very practical thing. She gave me a belt and a pad, and I was all set. A Most belt of my and friends a pad. didn't do it this well, though. <laughs> Among my friends, it really ran the gamut about what they knew and what they didn't know. A belt and a, a pad. pad. Ah, the good old days. Yeah, you buckle up like a fighter pilot when you have your period. <laughs> With a Gucci belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> we ought to get pads and belts for him. <laughs> for Noah. Have him wear that around the office. <laughs> a belt and a pad. A pad and a belt. Nice. Any others? One more? No one ever mentions that you can wear two pads on a heavy day or that tampons <laughs> are all right, even if you aren't married. <laughs> what is that about? Well, you didn't want to put anything in there uh, if you're not married. Because then if you have a husband who's checking you out, you know, th some husbands would actually check out the woman and make sure she's intact. And uh, women were afraid that a tampon would break that and make her look like a slut to her husband who's uh, searching for a virgin. Hold on, we got to interrupt the show. Oh, Ricky's back. Nice. Ricky, we're in the middle of doing a bit here. Sorry. Ah, seltzer, my friend. No club, club soda. soda. There wasn't club soda? No, Hold on, what? We got to turn your mic on. Oh, boy. Uh, what? No, there wasn't any clips that over there. I was looking around the store for a while. That's why it took me a, a little bit. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm on a, a low-sodium diet. Do you mm -hmm. see 25 milligrams of sodium in that? Uh, club soda has no sodium. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Still bubbly water, but, you know, one or two is fine, but three? Seltzer stinks, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll keep it here or something, but, you know... Uh, get a buck. Oh my god, this is like wasting the whole show today. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I should have, I don't know. Maybe told you. Ricky, you think you're cut out for this gig? You're killing me. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to do what I can. There you go. Yeah, club soda. Right, so you keep that. You keep that. Uh, well, I don't even know where we were. Alright, let's start the whole bit over again. Oh boy. You want to replay the audio or shoot? I don't know. Eric, uh, did you guys yeah. did you interview him before we uh, hired him to be an intern? He seemed reliable. Yeah. Holy ass. The audio's off out there, right? Oh my god. Yeah. It's off. Oh, I, feel, I feel bad. I can't even do this. Oh. Don't oh. separate yourself from the group. I Anthony. can't help it. <laughs> He's going to spit in your club soda like Kizzy. <laughs> I know, right? You did say club soda, though. He's gone? 
Yeah. I call them soda seltzers. No difference. I don't care. I called <laughs> seltzer water Kenny. <laughs> and you're trying to say how you can't drink seltzer, and there's an empty one right next Just to you. Just three of them next to me. I don't, yeah. <laughs> If I have to worry about 25 <laughs> milligrams of sodium. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, mm. uh, what do we need next? We're running out of things. We need things. Things? Things. Jim's apple. Did you get your apple today yet? No, I didn't. Oh, All right. Very well, this good. he could probably really screw up. All right. I think he's going to come oh. back with a nice crisp apple. Don't no. even say it's crisp. I Don't even ask. Word. Okay. Dude, you, and then throw it against the wall <laughs> when yeah. he comes in. Please, dude. Throw even, it against the wall even if it's and crisp, walk out. Yeah, and walk out. And walk I out of the you. studio. All right? Please. All right, uh, here's another clip. Um, <laughs> and he's not going to come back with a crisp one, by the way. Of course he's not. Of course no, he's it's not. It's going to have the consistency of something you find in a dumpster behind a Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Should this have two little eyes in it? <laughs> little malformed ears? <laughs> Anthony, here's uh, another clip on... Uh, Apple of Dad's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another clip on Ann's period. <laughs> Apple, why would you bring him a computer? <laughs> Monarchy. <laughs> All right? Yeah. All right. No one ever mentions that you can wear two pads on a heavy day or that tampons are all right, even if you aren't married. The fact is, a lot of girls do get cramps in the first couple of days, and I know then I'm limited for some sports. You mean that what you really needed to know is that Menstruation is a nuisance, but not something terribly unpleasant. To guys. Oh, I don't know. But after a few periods, a girl becomes very aware of some of these nuisance factors. Really, they're just inconveniences for the most part. Of course, it's nothing like it in my mother's day. Not nearly so restricted. You should hear my mother laugh about her high school gym class. Yeah. All the ladies who were having their periods had to get in their gym suits. Then they sit along the sidelines, radiating their attainment of womanhood and smugly enjoying their femaleness, while the rest of them whack the volleyball. Whack the volleyball. <laughs> Ugh. What an accent. Yeah. Pids. <laughs> I wear pids. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> that is weird stuff. Right, they're all whacking a volleyball, and mom and other friends are just there bleeding against the wall. <laughs> Bleeding against the wall. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> I love <laughs> big, thick double pads on there. Dribbling out. Oh, <laughs> Looks like Dracula with Down syndrome. <laughs> Dr Dracula. <laughs> Sometimes I'd have to wear two pads. <laughs> oh. It was pretty disgusting when I had to put on two pads. Looked like I was wearing a diaper. You know, a bloody diaper. Oh, you should tell your children about this so they're not embarrassed. What an awful accent that was. Sometimes I wish I'd be sexually active, but not with this accent. God damn it. I'm banging Sipowitz over here. <laughs> hey, come on. Put it in my ears. <laughs> come on, you lousy skill. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, uh.